Hi Virgo, welcome to your monthly reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only channel reading, always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of August, as usual, I have a special sales offer available inspired in the current Leo themed season we are on. And if you also want to know more details about it, just read the information uh, on the description um, box below or email me to know more as well. If you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do that by following the PayPal link, which is also down below. So Virgo. I feel like you move you move to August kind of um, with similar um, challenges and opportunities that July already kind of gave you um, a taste of. So there can be repetition of of um, some energies experience. It, it could there could be a repetition of drama in particular that kind of steers here a lot of fire in you and in your life. So if there has been, you know, fights, discussions, debates, uh, things changing in a way that didn't feel, you know, the best, uh, you know, the likelihood of those events occurring again can be high. Because that's the challenge here. The challenge here is to not repeat what destroys or what is um, an energy that directs situations to destruction, but to use this energy to be productive, proactive in applying solutions, effort, compromise in actually investing in things even when the going gets tough you know what i mean it's like some of you virgos there's a situation in your life that might involve another person this king of wands energy it's almost like this person can bring a level of drama problems but also, um, this person can bring a realization of how important it is in some shape or form for something to be better done, for something to be pursued in a way that might be a little bit different from the, the one you have been pursuing especially if it has been, you know, not very efficient or, again, showing results. It, it almost feel like this person is an instigator of change for the betterment of you or the betterment of something you're involved. But the way they express this, the way they show this to you, they, they speak to you, they act with you, is, 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 it might be, you know, their manners uh, might be, you know, so clashing to yours, so different from yours, that the tendency is to, you know, bring what could be helpful, um, something that could be helpful into a very uh, problematic point. Some of you is like you and a person in your life, the temperaments and the, the, the nature of your egos, you know, really trigger each other in a way that is like on edge constantly. There's a lack of peace or a lack of, you know, serenity. Um, in the dynamics, particularly dynamics of relationships, like there's a lack of peace or a lack of feeling chill, basically, with someone in your life or people, several people, because the five of wands can sometimes 
uh, represent groups of people you're dealing with that are that is that bring a high level of stress into your life. So it could be friends, colleagues. Um, it could be people that you have to deal with that you wish you didn't have. So some of you Virgos would like to run here from something or just end it or break it or separate your, yourself from this because the tower is in the heart of the reading. So you know that there is a drama, a problem in your life that if it would be up to you, you would just, you know, walk out of it. But it's interesting because it feels like this tower in the heart of your reading, and you had a tower recently, I believe it was mid-July or or in the new moon uh, message, I'm not sure, but you had a tower recently, and this tower, again, comes up again, but it's in the heart of the reading, so you will know what this is about, most likely. It's in the center of the focus of the month. So, this tower, is representing for some of you Virgos changes that occur in ways that are very defined to you because they're upsetting you in a in a space inside that usually you control or usually you detach or let go of certain emotions or behaviors easily. And this situation triggers um, an energy where you lose control of something. And when you're faced with that loss of control, especially now in August, there's a choice here between adding fire to the fire, so fighting fire with fire and creating a whole mass of, of problems or, or complications, or changing the tactic and actually applying a different strategy to the same problem. Because this might be the same problem, but what you're meant to realize as you move more into your season, in the last part of August and into September, is that it's just it, for it to be, for the problem to be done, for the drama to be shut down for good, the strategy needs to be a different one. For some of you, Virgos, this could be speaking about drama, you know, that involves. Uh, feelings and so things are not very you know like there's a lack of air here so you know things are not very the function of rationality and analysis and making sense of things and again being able to speak calmly think calmly and clearly is not present it's going to be the challenge is to pull that energy of mental steadiness Focus in the situation you have in front of you. Analyze all angles of it. Don't just look to your angle. Because if you're dealing with, for example, a very selfish or a narcissistic person and you're going to fight with this person or deal with this person, in that same way, being you yourself narcissistic or being you yourself just the same as they are being, nothing can be done in, nothing can be done when um, two currents of strong narcissism face each other, of ego, ego, ego voice, when the ego voice is speaking and nothing else. Obviously, it will lead to disruption, it will lead to separation, it will lead to uh, things breaking, things breaking. So, 
And I feel like some of you Virgos, there's a sadness to to you during August in not being able to stop certain things from happening. So again, I keep getting like the lack of control, the feeling of you missing, you know, the reins of control in this particular situation brings you sadness because again, you would like to control it and put it your way. There's a solution in the unthinkable. So I keep getting like there's something, another side to this energy of August that will be revealed later on to you as if realizing that maybe something is <laughs> or was much, you know, simpler and at your reach after all to, you know, adapt and, and, and understand the situation better and, and put it to rest than what you initially thought. Because losing control is scary, but then when we get, you know, when we get used to the feeling of not being in control and we just flow and relax, that is also a marvelous feeling because when we allow things to flow, when we allow things to be what they are, and not what we would like them to be, they have a way of immediately kind of, I don't want to say returning, but almost like immediately ending up showing to us in ways that we never thought it would be possible. So another part to August for Virgos is to keep your mind open. When something feels like it's just this way, try to have your heart and your mind open to be later surprised. Because I feel like some of you will be later surprised to the purpose or the meaning of a particular challenge or problem you are facing. And not to say that this is something here pleasant, because... A lot of fire is not pleasant. It's a lot of drama. It's a lot of fighting. It can bring rage. It can bring violence. It can bring a very competitive, um, crazy, you know, way of relating with each other. It's alarming. It's stressful. And you have three three energies here of big fire. So, you know the saying, kill them with kindness. Uh, when fire touches you and it burns you, put water on it. Uh, there's something here about you not falling here in the trap of reacting the same way someone or something is reacting towards you, even if you are in the reason to do that or feel like you are. Don't fall into that temptation because in that way, yes, the, the effort it will take for them to repair a situation or for them to get back to a space where you feel you can concentrate, you can turn off the noise, you can just do your thing without being so worried or so tense, it's going to be more difficult. Some of you just you want to be concentrated and people keep dragging you, dragging you into their problem, for example, problems, for example, or you want to be in a peaceful environment to do your things and you, you don't find that easy during August, or you're unexpectedly, you know, faced with someone else's problem, yes, but you are there or you are involved in it and you have to be there to find a solution, to put fire, to rest. And, you know, for some of you, there's, a, there's an energy of survival here. It could be a month where that's the, 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 the your instincts of, the survival instincts are very, you know, 
uh, on the surface, um, feeling like you need to fight for things, fight for things just to survive or to get to a point where a situation survives instead of dying. So I hope you have a great month. Thank you so much for all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and donating to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hopefully we'll see each other soon.